Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to set up a user in Redmine. So users forms an integral part of a project and uh, we have different uh, users like manager, developer, tester, etc. So let's see how uh, we can register a user in uh, Redmine, so step by step. So for that, uh, let us go to the Redmine uh, login. So these are the credentials I have already provided. Click on login. Okay, so this is my dashboard or home page, you can call it. On the left hand top side, you can see an administration link. Click on that administration link and the second option you can see. So that option is the users option. Okay. So as of now, I only have one active user um, in my red mind. So that is uh, Rahul. So here's a button called new user. So let's try to add a new user and let's see how we can do that. Okay, as soon as you click on new user, a form will open where you have, you have to fill all the details. Um, okay, so let's try to give a login to the user, login name. Uh, name, first name, last name. Uh, you can give the you email as uh, I've already created a test email, so this is the email you can give out here. Language English or whichever language uh, you want to create that. Now there is a checkbox called administrator. So if you want this user to become the administrator, you can click that checkbox. Otherwise leave it. So I don't want uh, this user to become an administrator. So I'm leaving it like that. Okay. And then give the password as per your convenience. Okay, so uh, there are other options as well like uh, generate password and must change password at next logon. So if you want these settings, you can uh, check that. And if you don't want, you can just uncheck it. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, so these are on the right hand side we have the email notifications so these are the different situations where an email should be triggered to the particular user so uh, we have different options out here for any event and all my projects uh, only for things I watched or I'm involved into only for things I watch or I'm assigned to only for things I watch or I'm the owner of and the last one is no events so uh, as of now I'm selecting for any events on all my projects so whichever user I mean whichever the project I'm part of so if any change happens to that I will be notified via email and there are some other settings preferences like time zone uh, display comments uh, warn me when leaving a page with the unsafe text etc so if you want these settings you can just change it out here now uh, left hand side down we have a checkbox called send account information to the user so uh, if the administrator wants uh, the user to receive uh, his or her details he can check this out and so we have filled all the details now click on create okay so you get a green message saying user tester 125 created successfully okay so let's go to the administration tab again and let's click on the users and yes, I'm able to see a user with the login tester125 created and these are all the details and this user is not an administrator. Okay, so we are able to create a user successfully. Uh, these are some of the details about uh, the users, login, first name, last name, email ID, administrator created uh, when the user was created and the last connection. Last connection means when this particular user last logged into the Redmine application. So uh, we can see out here two options uh, present here. Uh, there is a lock symbol out here that says lock and there is a delete. So delete as the name suggests if you click on this uh, delete button so it will delete the particular user 
and uh, this lock symbol uh, means that the particular user is activated so uh, let's click on this link and see what happens okay so successful update we got a message out here and now again go to the users group so we cannot see that user now uh, let's select the status uh, let's uh, select a different status select as all okay so see um, I clicked on that log button for this particular user so this particular user got logged that is why we are not able to see that user in the active uh, status if I click on unlock so it is unlocked successful update happened and if I go to active status so we are able to see this particular user is activated okay and if you delete click on this delete it will ask you are you sure you want to delete okay and this user got deleted so now we have only one remaining user that is the administrator